Hello everyone, and how are you guys doing today? I hope you guys are having a really, really awesome day today so far. Welcome back. Thank you so much for clicking in. I really do appreciate it. If you're new to my channel, hi, my name is Gabe, and this is Gabe Loves Makeup, and I'm a 52-year makeup artist, and I've been in the industry for 30 plus years, and um, I'm still in retail, and I help customers just like yourself with skincare, makeup, and fragrance every single day. And um, with that said, guys, we are back with another, um, it's like a will I buy it, but I'm going to be doing it this time in Sophia Sees Beauty. I'm going to do her version of Pass or Yeah. <laughs> so we're going to be doing that today. Um, so it'll be like either it's going to be a pass or it's going to be a yeah. So we have to do a little, a little shimmy with that. <laughs> <laughs> she's gonna love that so um anyway if you guys want to see what um my thoughts are on some of these brand new releases that are coming out um since she liked it so much last week we thought we'd do it again then stick around and let's do explore Okay, guys, so I have scooted over so we can have room for all the, um, all of the latest launches over here on your, on, be on my left, my left, or my right, my left, I always get that mixed up sometimes on my left side here. Um, so anyway, again, thank you so much to Sophia Sees Beauty for letting me, um, work in with some of her past or yes series. I con reached out and talked to her and she's like, yeah, you can definitely use the idea. So anyway, so we're going to be using the idea today. So remember, it's going to be a past or it's going to be a yes. So anyway, so we are ready to, to to head on over and look at some of these new launches. Now, first up, I wanted to talk about this brand new makeup from Shiseido, and it's the Renaissance Skin Glow. Um, I actually have it on right now. I was actually able to get a hold of a sample, um, and it reminds me a lot of, I will put also up here, the Synchro Glow Skin Makeup that I used to love that they discontinued. They don't really make it anymore. Um, this one is, I think, kind of taking the place of that. I tried some of the other Shiseido makeups, the Radiant and the Synchro Skin, and the tint and stuff and was not happy with those. Um, but anyway, let me go over here. I just want to really quickly, um, I will be doing a review of this. will be up after this one goes out. So you will be able to see my uh, feedback and everything on that one. But this is called the Chishado Revital Essence Skin Glow Foundation. It's 30 shades. Um, it's a foundation that has a serum texture that feels weightless, improves the skin, lasts up to 12 hours, has an SPF 30, um, it's transfer resistant, crease resistant, fade resistant, and suitable for all skin types. And if I'm not mistaken, I think it is $56 is how much it is. So yeah. So anyway, so yeah, this is a yes. So for sure, it hasn't um, launched just yet. Um, it is like, it's still, um, I saw it on a few sites and they have a few shades here and there, but it's not on the Shiseido site yet. So um, so anyway, so stay tuned for that so you can hear more about that one. So going on to our next one, I got to flip around here because I got so many we're going to be going through today. This um, And this was actually up on Trim Mood. This is the Patrick Ta. It is like the, um, the name of the palette is called, what is it called? It's called the Major Dimension 3 Matte Eyeshadow Palette. And it has cool and warm toned matte and cream formulas and it's all in one palette and it's $70 and it will be available on September 1st on the website, on their website and actually on Sephora as well. Now, if you guys have been following me for a while, I actually have given up a lot of my Patrick Toss shadows. Um, I bought his first palette and then I bought his second palette. I have done declutter both of those. I no longer have those anymore. Um, so, yeah, I mean, these are, it's really beautiful matte tones, and his mattes do blend really well, and I think if you're looking for a basic palette, and you want something that's going to blend well, and you love mattes, this may be something that may, you may really enjoy. I don't think, um, I mean, I don't know how this is going to sell, guys, because I'm a little interested, because his last, um, blush palette that he did, that was like three in one compact that like he did for Christmas. The first one was great. The second one was a bomb. It didn't do well. I didn't like that one either. Um, I just wasn't really crazy about the other eyeshadow palettes. And I'm not super crazy about that cream formula that he uses for like the shadows or like the liner. I mean, it's okay. Um, but yeah, this is going to be definitely a pass for me. So I definitely will be just kind of letting somebody else review that and be looking at that. But, um, you know, cause I'll be saving my $70 on that one, but let me know down below what you guys think. And by the way, I will have my lip combination down below. This is the Lisa Eldridge Lipstick in Strawberry Shock. 
and I did a little bit of a darker plum liner and NYX around the edges and a little bit of an Anastasia gold lip gloss over top of it. And it's really pretty and it's very pretty. And I actually got to play with this palette today. Um, this is the Italian's Brick palette. I have never got to play with it. I finally got to play with it today. And I also got to play with the new, um, this is the new Glow Shot, the Ultimate Glow Shot by NYX. They're like $5. And I did a little bit over top of the shadow on the outer corner. These are really pretty. They, they, they're definitely waterproof. They stand really well. But anyway, back, enough about my look and what it is. But everything will be down in the description box if you're interested. Um, as well as some of these launches that have already launched. They will be down in the description box as well. Um, and by the way, I do have affiliate links. So if you do click on those, I do make a small commission off of those. Um, it is not, none of this is sponsored or anything like that. But just keep that in mind. So it does help my channel and it does help my channel to grow. As well as the thanks down below the video. If you guys see it and you want to give me, if you want to send over $5 or $2 or, or you want to donate any thing you definitely helped me out with the channel as well so with that said so now on to the next one so this is the gorgeous natasha denona i need a nude palette oh my god she is super super beautiful the swatches look incredible i've, I've already seen some reviews of this this is already out by the way it came out i think it was last friday um, and so it's already sold out on the Sephora site, it's on the Ulta site, and it's also on the Natasha Denona website. Um, you know, this is definitely a yes, because we love some Natasha Denona. And I mean, I love a really good neutral palette, I really do. Now, um, it's supposed to have 15 nude shades and a matte metallic sparkling foiled and a new wet effect formula, which sounds beautiful. It's a sleek three, 3D pixie glass case inspired by minimalistic architecture. Sure. It is $69 and it is available now. Um, so let me know what you guys think down below of this palette as well. Okay, up next we have the Makeup by Mario Concealer. Um, it looks like there is, um, you know, there's a decent shade range in it, it looks like. I didn't write down, I didn't get all of the actual information on it, but I think it's supposed to be more of like a serum infused concealer with like the hyaluronic acid and all the other, like, uh, like all the other brands that are doing. We have a couple more concealers in this week's list too, I believe, so we're going to be talking about those as well. Um, but this is definitely a pass for me. I'm going to tell you guys right now because... I really feel bad, and I have a really dear friend, and he actually works for the company. He's actually a um, an exec with the company, and um, he's a rep for them. And um, I actually told him that I was going to pass on this, and he goes, "Well, why?" And I said, "Well, the you know the foundation did not work out for me. I loved it in my review, and then I ended up trying it, and then after the longer it sat on my skin, the worse it got. And I tried it with primer, I tried it with everything. I did it over and over again, and I just did not like the foundation." Um, so, uh, most of Mario's stuff, every time I buy something, I'm very, I'm, other than the skin enhancer and the one powder that I have by him, I'm just not into it. I love his brand. I think he's, it's a beautiful aesthetic and it's a really beautiful brand. Unfortunately, it's just not for me. Uh, so I'm definitely, in listening to this description of this concealer and stuff, I just don't think it's going to be for me, especially when it says it covers blemishes. I was like, okay, well, that's going to be a little bit more on the dry side too. So I'm definitely passing passing on this one. Speaking of a neutral palette, Miss Danessa Myricks decided that she is coming out with a new palette as well, and she also has um, a more neutrals in it, but these neutrals you can use everywhere. So you can use this as contour, you can use it as blush, you can use them as liner, you can use them as many different ways. There's really some really unique, some taupe shade shadows in there, some warm, some cool, a little bit of mixture of both. Um, if there was going to be a neutral palette, and if I was going to tell you you guys to get one, I would probably tell you get Danessa's because this is the better, I feel like you're going to get more out of this and you can do so much more with it. Um, but you know, that's just me. That's just my opinion. Um, it looks really beautiful. It's coming soon. Um, there's not an actual, uh, oh, it is the actual day. It's September 4th on Sephora. It's coming on Sephora on September 4th, but it's a palette with two different textures, velvety pomade, a shape and fix, 10 color coordinated shades it's for eyes, brows, face, and lips. So you can use this for so many different ways in many different ways. Um, so this looks really cool. 
I'm gonna probably still pass on it because, um, or give it a, I'm sorry, a little bit of a pass. Even though it looks really beautiful and I'm sure my, my girlfriend, Glam Girl Chelsea, she will be getting this either in PR or she'll be getting this. So um, I will be welcome to hear what her feedback is on it because I'm sure it's beautiful because everything Danessa does, she touches, the, it turns the gold. Um, so I'm sure it'll be really pretty, but um, it's just not for me. Okay, guys, so up next, we have um, this beautiful, gorgeous, stunning collection from Girl On. I mean, it is absolutely gorgeous. Now, last week, we talked about the YSL one, and we also talked about the Givenchy, which, by the way, I found out that the Givenchy is actually inspired by Studio 54, which I thought was kind of cool, um, even though I'm still going to pass on it. But, it, but it, that's a really, really cool concept, and I can see in the colors and stuff, I can see that. Um... But this looks absolutely stunning. So in the collection, we have a beautiful, stunning four-pan eyeshadow palette. It has a burgundy shade in it. Um, it has a green, it has a gold, and it also has a beautiful light champagne type color. This is just stunning. The packaging looks stunning. I just love what Girl Line has done with this. And also, there's a golden leopard um there's a golden leopard. It's like a bronzer. It looks like with a little bit of a layover with a little bit of like an illumination type thing. Um, it looks really beautiful as well. It's part of the terracotta brand. Then there's three lipsticks. One is a satin, two are matte. It's like a pink, it looks like a red, and then one is more of like a burgundy kind of shade. And then, oh my God, the, um, the refill or the the refills or the um, limited edition uh, lipstick cases that you can buy. They're just gorgeous. Now, I will say this this collection is it's different for Girl On. I mean, it's got like a leopard print and a zebra, and it, but it's in like a green and the silver. It's really unique. It's very cool. I mean, I would have to say that it's absolutely gorgeous. And, um, and it, man, let me tell you, that, and then when I didn't mention the meteorite, so they're coming out with another version of their meteorite, which has been out, it's, they haven't had a meteorite in a while, so it's really cool. It'd be interesting to see what the color looks like, but the packaging with the gold, like, leaves around it are just absolutely stunning. Um, and then they also have a advent box, which looks really super cool. I have never bought an advent box, and nor do I plan on it, because they're extremely expensive, especially for lawn. Um, most of this collection, if I was interested, the shadows are really interesting, um, but I would have to say it would be the terracotta powder or the meteorites. So it would be one of those. So I don't know. This one is a possibility. So it's not really a yes, but it's like a half a yes. So it's like a little half shoulder. So we're giving a little half shoulder on this side. Um, not a full shoulder, but, um, but maybe a half. Um, but yeah, I mean, you know, it's... um. It's really pretty. It's a beautiful collection, but I will have to say, I would have to look at the, see what the meteorites are about, because I have some meteorites. I haven't used them in a while, but I do have some, but um, it's not something that I always reach for. But I mean, but it is a beautiful collection, and it's a possibility, so you just never know. We'll just have to wait and see. Okay, so up next, we have this beautiful, gorgeous collection by YSL. It's some new lipsticks that they have just added to their lipstick formula. I think it's the Rouge... Um, the Rouge family is the Couture, Rouge per Couture Satin Lipstick. Yes. Hydrating Long Wear Satin Finish. And there's 15 new shades in it. Oh my God, God, this is gorgeous. There's some really beautiful shades in here. Some beautiful nude shades in here. I would uh, really, I'm very tempted on this one. This is, um, definitely going to be at least maybe one. As why well lipsticks, you know, they're not the cheapest in the world. They're, they're around the $45, $50 range, like the Chanel range. Um, but their formula is just, mm, it's just chef's kiss is so beautiful. We may have to pick up a nude. I don't really want any more deeper colors or brighter colors because I already have plenty of those. But I don't know. I might have to pick up one of these nude colors, like maybe N1 or N5, maybe N3. But it's really, really gorgeous. So this is definitely a yes because I've got a, I don't have a YSL lipstick like this one. So I'm really um excited to see these up close and personal. And once I play with them and make a decision, but I'm pretty sure I'm probably going to pick up one of these.
And now that we are talking about YSL, so YSL was coming out with a new all hours um, precise angles concealer. So um, the wand is a very unique kind of wand. It's supposed to be like an angle wand, I believe, or something like that. It's a unique application designed for multi-purpose use. You get broad coverage or precise application, uh, but it has jasmine petals from uh, the community gardens, caffeine extracts, a concentration of mineral uh, pigments. Um, it looks like it's about eight, it's around 18, 20 shades. Not a lot of shades, but, um, but you know, but that it's just YSL in general anyway. Usually them and Givenchy and Guerlain, usually they don't have a ton of shades in their concealer range. Um, it looks like it's a pretty decent balance. It looks like there's more lighter shades than darker, for sure. Um, I will not be picking this up because I love the All Hours Foundation. It is amazing. It's one of my favorite foundations. Um, but this one is supposed to have a little bit more of a matte finish, and I just don't know about that. I will play with it in store and see what I think about it. Like when I'm in Sephora, I'll play with it and see. But I know that they're discontinuing because they did already have this concealer. This is just a reformulated version of it. Um, and they made it more natural and, and yada yada and all that good stuff. Um, so anyway, it will be out soon. It's on the Sephora website already. Um, it's just not up for sale yet, but they do have all the shades and everything there. Um, but anyway, I can let you guys know when this is available, but, um, I definitely will be giving this one a pass. So up next we have, this is the Merit Single Eyeshadows. Wow, they're really, really pretty. They're very rich. And I saw where they're like waterproof and sweatproof and all that kind of stuff too. And the, the pigment is there. Um, it seems to be like it's supposed to be a one and done type shadow. Um, that's what they're kind of counting it on, I think, on as far as their PR goes. I don't have much information about this, but um, but the shades look really beautiful. Um, Merit is a really good brand. They're really great, especially if you're into cruelty-free, if you like, you know, paraben-free free, you know, um, PETA friendly, all that kind of good stuff, vegan. Um, it is a really good line and the shades do look really beautiful. It'd be interesting to see the reviews on this one to see what people think of it. Um, but I don't, I'm not a big single eyeshadow person. It's just not for me. I'm just not really into it. Um, so this one's definitely a pass. So up next guys, we have the Victoria Beckham. This is the, um, Vast Lash Mascara. So I have it on now. It actually will be out in the next video. I will be reviewing it, but I will let you guys just go ahead and kind of just show you a little bit. But this is what it looks like. It comes in this kind of a tube, um, but it is a more bold, lifted, dramatic um, mascara where the other one was more of a quiet, natural, defined, lengthening kind of mascara. Um, it is um, it's a, it is a 12 hour wear, flake proof, smudge proof, sweat proof, humidity proof, vegan, gluten free, nut free, orthopodges tested, and it is, was $32. Um, so yeah, you can already tell that I already picked this one up because um, I loved her previous mascara because I thought it was a beautiful natural mascara. I'm very interested to see how this one wears or whatever, but you'll have to wait and catch the review to see what I think of it. But um, but anyway, but yeah, this one's definitely a yeah. So we definitely picked up that one. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so up next we have, this is the Guerlain um, Pure Gold Skin Control Compact. So it is a new compact powder that is a matte and radiant finishes. So there's two types of finish. Um, it's a 24 karat gold, a golden veil on the skin, reflects light, makes the skin look smoother, hides pores and unevenness. It's 85% skin care, um, white peony petal to strengthen the skin uh, perfection. And right now, as of, it was supposed to go worldwide on September 1st. Right now, there's only five shades though. So I don't know about that. I'm sure there will be more by the time they launch it. But the pictures only show the five shades and they're all just light shades. Um, I think this is going to be very similar because, you know, if you guys didn't know, Guerlain is owned by Louis Vuitton, and Louis Vuitton owns Dior, so I have a feeling it would be very similar to the Dior Forever Matte Powder Foundation. They reformulated theirs last year. Um, so, I'd be very interested to see what this one is. I do have the Pure um, Gold, um, the Matte Foundation, and I also have the Rejuvenating. I have both of those. I reviewed those back here. I will try to post that up there if you're interested. It is available in the U.S. now, the Matte one, not the Rejuvenating. Uh, they have not released that one here yet. It's still overseas only. Um, they finally, after a year, they're finally launching it here in the U.S. So, it'll be very interesting to see the thoughts and everything on this powder. Um, 
It looks really beautiful. I mean, it's Guerlain. The packaging looks really pretty. Um, you know, but I already have a matte. I have the Dior one, and so I don't really need this one. So this is definitely going to be a pass for me. Okay, up next, guys, before we go into the last one, um, I wanted to show you this one because this is a new launch too as well, but I just don't have any pictures from offline or whatever. But because I work for Lancome, I actually have a little bit of an insight on this product. It is not given a date yet on exactly when it's launching. We're supposed to get it by September or in September, and maybe till the end of this month. We really don't know yet, but um, it is going to be the um, the Tommy Dog Care and Glow Concealer. Um, it's a serum concealer. It's a smooth, hydrate, brighten, medium, buildable coverage for natural soft finish. Um, it has a multi-purpose applicator, and it has up to 24 shades in it. Um, so the shade range looks pretty good. I'll show you guys the shade range a little bit right there. If you can see it right there across the board. Um, it's not bad at all. It's pretty good. It has an 81% serum base. It's hyaluronic acid, peptides, and ceramides. Um, I think the price is going to be a $29 for a 0.43 full ounce. Um, so this is another, a little bit of the shades. If you guys want to see them, a little bit more of the shade range too, you can kind of see it. But, um, but yeah, anyway, it's going to be more of a natural soft glow finish, medium buildable. Or the, the original, the other, the Tommy Doll Ultra, it is more of a full coverage and it's more of a matte. Um, it brightens, it blurs, it helps with the appearance of dark circles. Um, and it's like I said, it's got rose extract, moringa, and water lily in it. Um, so I will let you guys know when this is available because we will be getting it in store soon. And that is definitely a yes for me. A yes, because we'll definitely be picking that one up um, because I really love Lancome's concealers, even though I am, I'm not trying to be biased because it is the company that I would do work for, but I do love Lancome as well as Dior. So, I mean, I would definitely be picking that up. The last one and and this was just posted today this is the clay de Poe holiday oh my freaking god this packaging is just i can't even tell you it's like little fairies in a fairy land or something it is just gorgeous the imprint on the eyeshadow palette which looks like a mauve a gold a bronze and then maybe a light pink it is just stunning. It is just so pretty. There's a beautiful highlight with this gorgeous, it looks like there's blue in it. There's like shifts of, of blue, pink, gold. I mean, it's just gorgeous. The lipsticks look really beautiful, look very natural. Um, then they also have, it looks like a, there's a serum. I think it's a cleanser, I believe. I think it's part of their, their clean, yeah, the clarifying foam. The, uh, the cleansing oil and then the La Serum is also going to have this special packaging on it as well, as well as the cream. Um, so, the, the, it just looks stunning. I mean, it looks really, really beautiful. Um, both of the lipsticks, um, I think, are matte. So, I think they're both matte. It doesn't give any prices yet, but if you buy the moisturizer or the serum or the cleansing oil or what have you, I'm sure they'll be the same price. It's just a different packaging. Um, I think the highlighters are around the $65, $70 range. They may even be more than that. And the eyeshadows, I think they are also around the $80, $75 range. Um, you know, this is just gorgeous. I've always wanted a highlighter from Clay de Poe. Um, I don't have any Clay de Poe. Um, I did, um, I did, I've tried samples of stuff and everything, and everything I've tried, I've loved. I just can't afford it, but it's just so beautiful. It's so pretty. I love the Radiant Cream Foundation. That was great. The concealer was great. It's just a really beautiful line, um, but I would have to say I'm going to have to pass on this one, so I have to give this a thumb, but, but I mean, but, I mean, it is really beautiful, and if you love Clay de Poe, and um, this is your jam. You definitely, we would be, this would be right up the street. If there was anything I would pick up, it would definitely be the highlighter. The highlighter looks just, it's just stunning. It definitely looks like it's the start of the show because it's in the center, but definitely the highlighter.
Bow Wowder, that would be the one I would pick. Okay, guys, so that is it. So, you guys will have to let me know down below what you're interested in. Um, but please, like, let me know if you're still interested in these videos, by the way, because it really does help. And, you know, getting guys feedback really does help. But it seems like you guys really love the last one, so I thought I would do another one. But if you guys really like it, we might keep doing this on a regular basis, so just let me know. Um, but anyway, I just, I've really enjoyed it. These are a lot of fun. I mean, you know, not that I have a lot of money to be buying a lot of these, so some of most of them are going to be a pass for me anyway, especially these days. But, however, I do love sharing with you guys. I do, I do love your opinions, and I would love to see what these are going to be like. Some of these are going to be like in store and play with them and see um, and get your feedback on it as well. Um, so, anyway, if you like this video, make sure you subscribe and make sure you give this video a thumbs up. If you did not like this video, then bless your heart. I love you. You're fabulous. You know, <laughs> I still appreciate if you've lasted this long. Um, you know, remember, be safe, be strong, be proud, stand tall. Love yourself. Remember to tell somebody that you love them today because life is way too short. Also, remember to be kind to someone today because kindness can go off a long way. And also remember to love yourself because, you know, uh, you got to start off with a little love with yourself first every day. Um, and with that said, guys, we are done with this week. You know, please take care of yourself. You know, don't let these, don't let a lot of these new releases overwhelm you whatsoever. It's all just fun. Just remember, it's just makeup. So if you're not interested in any of these or if you don't want any of these, then don't stress yourself out over it. It's not worth it. Um, but anyway, we will see you again in the next episode. Take care. Peace out. Thank you so much. Have a good one. Bye.